Hello everybody, it's me, VA again. <laughs> you guys are gonna get so tired of me already. I am laying up on the couch at Matt's house. I'm still here. It looks like I'll be here until like Wednesday. Um Yeah, I was feeling a little lonely, so I decided to make a video. Um I made a video last night of uh, me and Matt making uh, cream of crab soup. As you can tell, I'm a little stuffy. Got the sniffles going on. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. This weekend was very emotional. I'm still very emotional, very um, put off. Uh, I don't want to get into that right now, though. Um, basically, I just wanted to say that, uh, thank you for the few people who do read my videos, and, well, do read my videos. <sighs> yeah, that was real smart of me. <laughs> I want to thank the people who do watch my videos and actually comment on them. You know, it, it means a lot to me. Um... It means a lot to me to know that somebody's interested in me. Um, that somebody's interested in what I have to say because a lot of times I don't feel like anybody really wants to listen to me. That I don't matter as a person and that um, that uh in the end, nobody really respects me, but, uh, that could come from the fact that I have bipolar disorder, so I go through stages of either severe depression or severe hyperness, severe happiness, um, I don't really fall in between very, very easily, so when I do, it's definitely a peace of mind, which brings me to thank Matt, Matthew Powell, I've been at his house, and uh, being here during the week, it really helped me, um, I had gotten to a point where I was starting to fall into bad habits of uh, self-worth issues and things like that, and uh, coming here was like a breath of fresh air, um, you know, Matthew has his problems with his family, but they're nothing compared to <laughs> some of the drama that has gone on within mine. And, uh, yeah, for a time there, I, I felt like, you know, he really appreciated me being here. Uh, but then again, I've also felt like I've been a third wheel, and, uh, to him, and I've been a bother, but, again, I think that's the disease talking, and not just, uh, what's actually happening. Um, yeah, um, this kind of is a somber mood today. Um, I'm very horny, <laughs> but uh, I can't really do anything about that, um, since I'm at Matt's house and I don't have a lover. No, me and Matt do not do anything. We are not sleeping together. We are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We are just close friends. Which is kind of weird, because I never thought I would be close friends with Matt. <laughs> I actually kind of thought Matt hated me, but um, I'm I'm getting proven wrong, and I'm enjoying getting proven wrong. I don't know. You know, this isn't like me to feel like this. I haven't felt this way in a long, long time, and I think it's because of all the struggles I'm having with my best friend Justin and 
you know, not being able to find a job and everything like that. It's really, it's really, you know, coming up on me. I'm like walking on water and there's like jaws lurking beneath the waves just ready to like swallow me up. You know, I have that feeling of impending doom over me. I don't like feeling that way. It's bad to feel that way. You can't really get anything truly accomplished when you feel that way. But, uh, yeah, um, hopefully Maddie will let me take this video camera with, home with me. He hardly leaves it himself, so I don't see why it would be a big problem for me to actually take it with me. I take very good care of people's things when they let me borrow them, especially, like, two hundred dollar <laughs> um things cameras electronics gadgets so yeah um I think that's it at least for right now peace love and cheesecake people bye